with only there being like nine to ten more episodes of the season i'm very curious is this going to be the big climax or the climactic arc we're going through is this going to lead into a resolution is this going to set up a season two in terms of a story progression i have no idea where this is going to go and it very much interests me that i have no idea i'm very excited What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Ranking of Kings, episodes 15 and 16. The first one was called The Order of the Underworld. Last episode, we had we had Ukon get kind of electrocuted and wrapped up by Despa. Daisha's under, uh, in the underworld trying to find the place where he did, where Miranjo was able to come in. I don't think he likes Miran Miranjo. And then you have Miranjo and Apius dealing with the... We have a lot of things going on, really. Meanwhile, Boji is over here gathering a, a following because he's just... He's just winning in life because Boji is the best and he's the best boy. I can't waste any more time. I gotta hop into this episode. I am very excited to watch it. Don't forget if you guys want full length or early access to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description like always. If you guys want to watch this live with us with a great community, great vibes, come over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash DapperDarius. Uh, make sure to follow all the other social medias, Twitch, or I said Twitch, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at DapperDarius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Ranking of Kings, episodes 15 and 16. First one is called The Order of the Underworld. Let's do it. Yeah, now that they're not under the spell anymore, yeah, we should probably take them back home. He was instructed. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be very awkward, that reunion. I'd be very nervous going to see him as well. Cause he seemed like such a cool dude. Until he like that shot right there is alone. You have to think of the bigger picture. Right? Hell yeah. Yeah, he's a different kind of boji now, you know? Hell yeah. That is true. If anything, you have a bunch of people who got your back now. I like how you got Jiren in the background, like me too, you know? He's such a brawlic person to add to the squad. Shouts out to all of them. Mitsumata, Hilling, Dorshi, all goats. <laughs> I love how she says that. That's a true stepmom right there. Shouts out to all the stepmom, stepparents out there. Talk about an underworld entrance. That looks like it could fit a lot of things. He hears the Order of the Underworld on the other side, right? Or who is on the other side? That's what I would assume. And the Order of the Underworld are very feared warriors, so... Wow. Partially, for sure. <laughs> uh, there might be a little bit of that in there as well. Oh, he's gonna go warn them. He's, what, he's gonna filter him on the stairs? We know Domas is brawlic in terms of his strength, but I don't know how good of a sword fighter he is, especially with his, with his uh, prosthetic hand. We know he's brawlic. Good job. The crossy, you gonna come help, Hakuro? Yes, that was his signal to not help. You know, we don't want you losing your life, especially because you don't have the advantageous position, you know? Subukade. This guy looks brawlic. Look at that sword. Looks like I'm playing Elden Ring. Okay, General Grievous. Ooh, good move. You hit him with the blunt side. Well played by Domas. Yeah, he doesn't want to do anything hastily. I get it. I get it. I understand. In terms of you guys coming here, he really doesn't know. No, he's just been tasked with a weird task, you know. 
Okay, okay. Okay, Domas, going ham. Well, it reminds me of Thor's. You know, the best, the strongest people shouldn't have to necessarily use it. They should be strong in other ways, too. I always like that. But wow, even Dom Domas won that. He Did he just single-handedly beat a, a little battalion, a platoon of the Order of the Underworld? Obviously, he's not their head captain. Captain might go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Domas, but he was able to do that shit. Good job. With his club. Yep. Is there a name for a club with spikes like that, or would you just call it a club? <laughs> oh, you know Domas is nervous after that one. Stay out of this, he says. Yep. It makes sense. Try to move in on some territory, you know. I won't lie, though. Desha's weapon looks fucking so strong. He called it a club. Huge iron club. This is like a samurai duel right here where it's all just... It's one move. I love these kind of duels. It's all about precision, thoughts, making the next move, thinking about your enemy, you know? And he was too quick before you were even thinking about... That, look how close that is to your eye. Right in the nuts? Was that a nut kick? I thought he kicked him in the stomach. Did my man just nut kick him? When he, he theoretically could have killed him, he could have blasted his head off. Damn. Damn. He's still willing to fight after being hit in the nuts like that. Ooh. Who do you think you are, Hakuro? Willing to... Yep. That's about how that goes. You cannot be distracted by anything. Oh, Gigan. I said Jiren earlier. I thought this man could just jump down. He's a human elevator. He can survive that. They really don't intend on killing anyone? Okay. Except Bossa. And he's down. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Domas is just. He's getting hit this episode, man. I feel him and Hakuro, though. Especially Hakuro, but. After the last time they saw him. Yeah, I would be confused as well. Boji is having a little panic attack. Oh, I feel bad for my man. He's having like literally an anxiety attack. Yeah, he tries to bottle a lot of stuff in. He tries to only show off like a good side, you know? Resentment and hatred. It's kind of like Mob Psycho, you know? He just lets him fucking... He's letting it fester. I now give my life an apology? What does that mean? Like he's gonna land directly on his head and just... I thought someone was gonna grab him! That man could've... That man easily could've just snapped his neck and died right here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This man's a brawly, okay. Ooh. Okay, they're starting to work together as a squad. Boji could probably knock out every person in this room besides Desha in like a second. Yeah, it was him with the lightning earlier. I didn't realize he controlled lightning. That's super dope. He is very strong. I mean, he made a lightning bolt that took out Ukon. Uken, you know, so...
Which I feel like he has a right to do that. Oh, and but he knows it's Miranjo. Good. And Tomas is the only of the big four who doesn't know me, Ranjo? Apius, Dorshi both do, but I think they're definitely older in terms of the big four than Tomas. I mean, Dorshi used to be the goddamn spear. Okay. Okay, I like that. I, I'm down to do that. I'm down to kill Miranjo. I'm on that team right now. I am down. Okay, episode 16, Royal Majesty, Miranjo, I'm ready for you to die. Does he have a... Does he recall any... Oh. So she straight up, like Hilling, had an assassination attempt? And Boji's mom tanked it for him? Look at her! On a dragon! She's shining the light off that as a signal. To another... To some... What are these orcs? Trolls with some special bows and arrows? Oh my god, they have that much accuracy from that far away? Those arrows, the size of that arrow is... Could take out a, a, a fucking house. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I was wondering what happened to the first queen. And now... I need Miranjo to die now. He is literally in a pool of his mom's blood. Oh, so there was some foul play and she got fucking sniped. It's the devil who made the deal. We didn't get to. I swear that's the devil foot, right? There's only one red foot we've seen. Oh, this show gets deep, bro. R.I.P. Boji's mom, but Miranjo's gotta die. He has that in his- that was like a repressed memory for him. That's true. Yep. Yeah. Even though Gigan was a part of Boji's squad, and I appreciate him for that, he is technically a criminal, you know. I love how he calls Boji incompetent one. I was vying with my father for supremacy of the underworld. Really? You can see Ukon right there on the right. Gigantes. And so they're doing that? Oh, that is horrible. And obviously he wouldn't want them doing that to his people. You guys are... W oh my god, this is horrible. And then he sees the rest of his people doing what they said, coming in with no plan because of their torture... Oh. And that's oil. I thought it was like quicksand. That? Wow. They just burned alive Gigan's entire... I'm oh, not an entire race. These are just mercenaries hired. But a lot of his kind. Like, this is horrible. Understandable. Technically, he's a criminal for going against him who hired him. But me, as an audience member and a viewer, I'm on, hit I'm on Team Gigan for sure. Look at their heads, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. And... Wow. And he killed the baby right in front of him, too. Desha is one... Wow. Is this what war and wanting to be king does to a man? Is that why him and Despa? Yeah. Yep. Gigan thought about that. Boji, with this quickness, came and took that lightning bolt with his sword... After hearing that story, there's no way Boji can't can't side with Gigan on that. I I feel him. It saddens me to say this, but Desha truly is our enemy. You want to be our adversary in this? Hey, we'll do it. We don't want this to be done, but we, we if we have to, you know, we will. Yeah, we don't want to cause issues, but we also don't want you to like. Come on. I get it, you know. 
His lightning powers are pretty damn badass, though. I love lightning powers in any anime or video game. He can communicate with Despa. Oh, that's dope. I like the incompetent one you train. I under I am not a fan of him taking over the country, but I am a fan of him going to kill Miranjo for Miranjo causing a plot or scheme in his kingdom, you know. They know the demon, there's a demon behind it. So they're working together to come up with an ulterior plan that actually has a good chance of working. Okay. Oh no. Is it Despa having to throw up because of the vile things they've seen, or what? Is he too drunk? Yeah, they're cheering, laughing while burning corpses, yeah. I get it. Desh is like, these are the things that have to be done for the greater good. And Despa just, you know, can't sacrifice your morality for the greater good. It's it's two dualities and two opposites of every coin. I get it. I get both sides completely. This is Ukon before Ukon turned into Ukon. Our brutal father, so he was a brutal man. So, the, the creator of the Order of the Underworld. Okay, so that's been foreshadowed. For, okay. Shouts out to Ukon, shouts out to... I mean, like I said. Like I said, I never wanted Daisha to be our adversary. And I like him, but I like how it's not black and white in the show, you know. <laughs> he's like, thank you, little man. I appreciate you immensely. But he's I think he's somewhat doing this. Yeah, I got this now. We're connected. It's like Kingdom Hearts. Heck yeah. Once you're connected through your heartstrings, you guys aren't going anywhere. I played way too much Kingdom Hearts to know that. It is cool though, I do want him to be a, a member of the Order of the Underworld and to be like an actual good guy. His backstory is fire so far. Now they finally made it down. Yes, he's the enemy, but no he's not. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Daisha could kill them so bad. Oh, he's tanking it to stop them. Good. He's not gonna injure it. He's saying, let me go. Okay. He really alpha the fuck out of all of them right there. Dish is a badass, I won't lie. He might be one of the ugliest characters in the show, but with his lightning power and that fucking club, he's bad as all ass, you know? Moji kind of looks up to him now, too. Which sucks because they do all at the end of the day have an ulterior motive and they all have their own agenda, which I understand, but... It's going to be a long road of forgiveness and recovery before we can forgive you for attempting to murder us. But if anyone's going to do it, it would be Boji, you know. To be fair, like he did an inexcusable thing, absolutely. But it ate him up. The guilt truthfully ate him up, you know. And he still thinks about his face when he did it. So it's still going to be hard. I get it. True. We're gonna have to uh, go through like... I wanna say... What the... F yeah, but since when could Boji do that? This is a good way to get Boji's mind off things. Come on, classic race. He's just genuinely happy that Boji's happy. Domas for doing one of the darkest, craziest things in the show is one of the most emotional men in the show. 
That's why I, I liked him, you know, and I think I'm gonna be like Boji. It's gonna be a while, but one day I'll forgive him. Speak of the devil. Okay, that shit is creepy as all hell. Okay. Overall, fantastic episodes. I really am enjoying the way this plot is developing. Like I was asking before, is well, I thought this maybe was going to be the climactic thing that would last a couple episodes, but eventually Desha goes up, sees Miranjo, sees Balsay, they get into a fight, then some other things happen, then we resolutionize have a resolution but no it was a change of plan due to despa and his words saying that desha was no match for boji which i firmly do believe but i need to know the details of that there's such big world building in the show but they give you such little pieces of information that it's so frustrating at the exact same time like there's the devil that's working with miranjo we still don't know miranjo's motivations we still don't know balsay's motivations only because we knew it was strength, then he wanted to live a world for um, Boji, and then, I, I don't know. I'd say the only ones we do right now is Boji and Kage, and it's because they're the most wholesome, kind-hearted people in the show. But, uh, I'm so curious, and the way Boji's mom went out was one of the saddest mother deaths since Attack on Titan. Like, that was horribly sad, and I felt so bad. I always am such a fan and advocate of parents in, in animes or any movie anything where they like sacrifice their life give up their life for their children because they know and it's it's so sad and i always it always hits me but shouts out boji's mom ultimately that scene right there put me ranjo in my maybe do we got a killer to nah i'm not gonna be satisfied unless she's dead unless they pull some crazy backstory and she has some crazy nah i don't know i want to i want to kill her i don't know it sounds crazy but and then, so Daisha's gonna be coming back, we're gonna be sending Boji after Bose, and then we're gonna be dealing with Miranjo, and then Ukon just came back out of nowhere, and then Gigan had a fantastic backstory. That was one of the darkest things I've seen in the show. Super dark, but I thoroughly enjoyed that backstory. Oh, I forgot to turn off emote-only chat, but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, four episodes. Don't forget to come over on the Twitch if you guys wanna watch this live with us. Twitch.tv slash Darius. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Much appreciated. Peace.